Hey guys, welcome back to the Semester Camper. We are playing The Witcher 3. We're on part 20. And we found this cool looking tree. We are waiting for the uh, Lumberkin. Well, we're not waiting yet because we haven't camped the body yet. But we just got through burying the Watchling right here. And we're supposed to sit here and wait and see what happens. Uh, you know as much as I do. Unless you've seen it, but I haven't, so let's find out together. Let's wait on the Lumberkin. Gonna meditate? Maybe? Yep, sure are. You get rained on. By blood's power, I summon you. With your name, I beseech you. Hear my call and arise, Dea. Wow. Lead me to those bound to you by blood. Holy crap. Look at this. Oh, don't go too fast, homie. I'm following you. Y'all don't see this ghost. This is nuts, so guys. Nuts, so Doors always open. I bet you they're hiding someplace ghosts. I really do. Wow, this is amazing. I really dig stuff like this because this isn't something that's like like normal, but it's not out of the realm of possibilities if that makes sense at all. But a floating cabbage patch kid with a big tongue, that's a little bit of a stretch. Go across our uh, sturdy bridge. Where are we going, kiddo? Oh, don't shoot the ghost. It will kill you. Oh, hello. Where are you? Come on. You know you got something for me. No? I guess not. Now you got something. Okay. Monster hair. Okay, that's a first. Uh, thank you for waiting. I appreciate that. I'm on my way. I'm on my way. Don't yell at me, please. It's weird how it has the trails in behind it. That's crazy. Uh-oh. Don't tell me that Peller's hiding them. That would be, like, mean. What? There wasn't lavender they kept in there. Might be worth looking around though. Wow. Is he dancing? Alright, let's find some stuff. Take that. That. Um. What we got? Horseshoe. No way a pitch burner could afford a horse. Mm hmm. What is... I saw more red. Uh, more red. Water. Water, thank you. Oh yeah, what we got here? Clothing. They change in here? Maybe so. How'd they make it through without all them guards seeing them? I'm wondering here. A little bit of red right here. Horseshoe. No way a pitch burner could afford a horse. Yes, we got that part. What do we got here? A bracelet. One of them must have dropped it. Both were here. I'm going the right way. Sweet. Leaving it right there on that drum for everybody to find. That's not hugely smart. Okay. There we go. seen any red are y'all seeing any red I'm not they're in there it sounds like no okay wants to show me something more okay he does, huh? 
Oh shit. Hello. What the hell are you? Thanks. Oh shit. No, I am going with the ghost. Can't y'all just leave me alone? I just want to see what the ghost has to say. Not say, show me. Just out for a stroll with my sidekick. Feel a little bit like Peter Pan. He's leading with the tongue. It's baby reptile. At least those guys aren't behind me anymore. Whatever the hell they were. Alright. Um. No. Deals fire. for you. Come here, you. Wow. When am I gonna die? Probably. Should examine that horse carcass. Wow. Did they die? Hopefully they did. Let's examine. What we got going on? What do we have here? Bones? Bones have been here a while. Saddle? Chewed on the saddle. Necrophages will eat anything these days. What about the ribs? Giant claws. Wasn't a necrophage made these marks. That's good news. Legs? Horseshoes missing. Is this the animal that lost one in the smokehouse? Maybe so. And his head. Head torn clear off. Wow. Takes incredible strength. Wow. Summarized. Must have been attacked by a powerful beast. Surprised him. Hope they got away. Yeah, me too. Mm -hmm. Trail goes on. Good thing it doesn't end here. Well, we've got two or two or three on that. Oh. Let's keep on going. Trotting along with my friend here. Nothing to see. He might eat you, so you better leave him alone. Don't y'all know that I've killed just about every single one of your kind so far? So, can we dispense with the pleasantries? Are you trying to kill me? I hope I didn't lose my ghost. If I did, I am going to be plenty, plenty pissed. Alright, ghosty ghost, let's go. Just floating through in our little Peter Pan private world. Controller blip just a little. Alright. Fisherman's hut. Seems she wants me to take a closer look. Mm -hmm. Not before I grab this. A broken oar. Well worth the trip. Hello? Hi there. Who's that? At the room. Go on now. What you seek here, sir? Our hut's out of the way. Woeful. We has nothing. We knows nothing. Just need information. Looking for two women. The Bloody Baron's wife and daughter. Not a soul have been here, sir. Mm -hmm. Sure? Not even passing through? Daughter's medium height, about 20. Her mother's thin, about 40. Seen them? That sir came at night, right, mummy? Wow. Quiet boy. Hmm. Girl stayed with you. What happened to her? Who'd you see? Describe her. I want to help that woman. She could be in danger. Young and see no one, my lord. He's a kitty. 
Must have dreamt it. I want to hear this dream then. So, kid, who did you see? Who came here? Pappy brought her at night, the lady does the medicines. She was all afeard. Talked about an awful monster, said she had to go back, don't know where to. Mummy and Pappy cheered her up, gave her clothes. Hers were ragged. Mm-hmm. Girl stayed with you, what happened to her? Where'd the girl go? Her son said enough, no point in playing dumb anymore. Sorry, sir, but you don't look like one of her father's men. Because I'm not. I'm looking for Tamara and her mother. I need to know if they're alive and safe. Tamara is high. She's to my brother's place in Oxenford. But Mrs. Anna, that's another type. Though anywhere's better than to crow's perch with a baron. Why? Cause, cause he beat her, sir. Beat Mrs. Anna, I mean. Everyone knew, but not a one lifted a finger for to stop it. Hmm. Where's the Baron's wife? What happened to Tamara's mother? Ah, for like this. I was awaiting in the old smokehouse with horses. Cold as hell and so dark, couldn't see past two L's in front of you. Moon had risen high, and still they hadn't come. Began to fear some demon had snatched them. But finally, they came forth, and we set off towards the river. Suddenly, out of nowhere, a gale arose. Thought it'd tear my head off. And those damn birds, swarms of them coursing o'er the woods, raising a racket to make your ears bleed. Mrs. Anna screamed, bent over into herself. Tamara knelt down, gripped her arms. For then I saw it. Fiery marks on her hands. Wow. The hell was that? Damn. Tell me about these marks. What happened next? Why did you help them? I wouldn't know that. Why help them at all? You risked a lot. I did that. Old Miss Tamara. Three moons passed, a fever gripped my boy. We thought he was done for. Tamara alerted it. Brought food and salves. We're poorer than dirt itself. She saved my boy. No two ways about it. Me, myself, I'd have never dared to help. But my missus told me, a time of war and contempt's come. A time of folk gone wrong. We need to repay good with good. Who stands by idly does evil as if. Married a wise woman. Crying shame we couldn't save Mrs. Anna in the end. Damn it. What happened next? Tell me about the marks. Marks. What marks? These, well, like burned on with hot iron on the palms inside. Wow. Burned like a cattle brand? Aye. No, these wasn't black scars scabbed over. These hot and glowing as if they burned with raw fire. Wow. What happened next? Fine. What happened next? Grew even darker. Seems someone had put out the stars. Crickets all went silent of a sudden, and then, from the woods, a roar. Wow. Broke out in a cold sweat, and before I could catch my breath, a beast jumped out of the woods, big as a barn, with horns and two burning coals for Holy eyes. Holy shit. I thought I was done for. The beast attacked Mrs. Anna's horse, ripped its head off, carried her off into the woods. Our horses, mine and Miss Tamara's, got spooked and tore off willy-nilly. For the only reason we escaped. The miss wanted to go back for her mother, but my wife pleaded, said she'd die out there alone. Miss Tamara agreed not to go. Wow. Thanks for your help. Thanks for your help. The lady, she'll be all right in the end, won't she? I'll do what I can to see that she is. Mm hmm. Talk to the Baron about his family. Wow. She was standing over there by the knife. I thought she was going to stab us there for a second. They're poor. I'm not going to grab their stuff. There we go. They healed up. So here our paths diverge. Thank you, Dea. Go in peace. Wow. And he is gone. Receive 300 experience points. 
Alright, so we're supposed to talk to the Bloody Baron about his family. And then... We have two. Why do we have two here? We have that. Then another one. It looks like completely opposite way. Family matters. Oh, there it is. Way the hell up there. Holy crap. Hmm, 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 hmm. Alright, well, let's go back and see the Mr. Baron, sir. See what he's got to say. Mr. Roach. Please come by and pick your poor Witcher man up. Let's go. I love these storms that roll in. Well, not love them, but. And Olfert. I to marry the Baron's daughter in Olfert. Hmm. I wonder if we can find the Baron's daughter first. And then. Hmm. But it has that one first, so we're going to go back and talk to the Baron. I don't think it's going to be very pleasant tidings at all. Go back over here. The Baron, that drunken bastard. Beat the shit out of him again if we have to, I guess. Go across that rickety-ass bridge. That, that day was pretty cool. I liked it. Oh. We passed That's it. it Roach. We passed it. We missed the turn. Easy enough to miss, though, I guess. Come on. Don't get caught on the fence. I don't want to dick with you right now, but I guess I will. Douche. Alright, put that up. Got another monster eye. Alright, monster eye. We got three guys out here now. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you said that last time. Thanks for the education. Baron, I've helped you a lot. You better repay the favor. Better tell me exactly where Miss Circe is. Full show. I wish they made two entrances to this castle. I mean, it's really quite a ways to be jogging around. Find out exactly what's going on here. Better not go back and touch that family. I'll have to kill the bloody Baron. Spill his guts everywhere. Remember me? Stable hand pulled you out of the fire. We'll never forget that. Here. I'm grateful. Sweet. 20 crowns. Thanks, buddy. Man, a guy that pays his debts. Imagine that. Are we headed the right way? I think that we are. Here we go, Baron. Witcher, a word, please. Just for you, man. What is it? What is it? That night when the Baron ordered everyone to lock their doors, stay inside. What did you and the Baron do? Gotta ask the Baron about that. Speaking of which, know where he is? Garden. Spends a lot of time sitting there, look like. Drunk. No. Don't drink, don't eat. Just sit. Wow. All right, Baron. What you got? Hmm. They're gonna try to kill him, I bet. Take over. Something. Hey. Tell me about it. There you are. See the hollyhock there? The violet blooms. Brought the plants here from Nazaire. Anna had read some story. Insisted on having them. Spent hours tending to them. Trimming, pruning. She was so content at that. And them, the frilly ones, called birds of paradise in Zeracania. But Tamara called them dragons of paradise. Mm. 
She adored them. Damn shame I'll never learn which blooms would please Dea most. Though it's good to know her spirit's free. Yep. Gotta talk to you about... That's always hard. Your loss. It must hurt. Bad. But there wasn't anything we could do. No. Not now. Not anymore. It was too late. That was clear. Should have acted earlier. Taken them all from this damned villain. In this hole. This reesty mire. Nothing could go right here. Gotta talk to you about your family. Oh man, we don't get to choose either. All right. Got some information about your family. You've learned something. Well, let's go inside. It's a bit chilly out. Shit. Hmm. Hope he doesn't hurt those folks for helping him. Any news for me? Damn. Your daughter's in Oxenford. What the blazes? Is she all right? In good health, safe. Why haven't you brought her back? Never offered to do that. How do you know she's safe? You see her at least? No, but I talked to the man who helped her escape and then took her in. Tamara is safe and sound. From what I gathered, she has no desire to see you again, no intention to return. I shan't trust some peasant dolt. I shan't trust whoever it is helped her. I need to know for certain she's safe. Go to her. You must be sure. See her yourself. I shan't believe anyone else. Damn you. Not gonna happen. Hmm. This earned some brownie points, I think. That much I can do. I'm grateful. Take this. Call it enticement. And this might prove useful. What is it? A letter of safe conduct. Ever since the Redanians took hold of the Pontar Delta, they made it damned hard to get to Novigrad without one. Very well. You were to find them both. What of Anna? Learned anything? Nothing yet, but I'm on her trail. Well, what are you waiting for? Holy shit. For you to tell me about Siri, like we agreed. <sighs> Fine. A word once given. When Siri was on the mend, we took her out on a hunt. Thought a bit of galloping would warm up her limbs, gone stiff from so much bed rest. Oh, we get to play Siri again. Come on. Tell me it's true. Loading the white screen. I think you get the white screen every time. That lass of yours. Pure luck in the flesh. To hunt down a wild boar that size. Why, worthy of one of King Faltest's feasts. Were he still among the living? Siri, come! Our haunt should be yours as I see it. Oh, you're doing well, lass. Not bad. Not bad at all. But who goes boar hunting with a sword? No bow at hand, no spear. My sword was all I had. <laughs> well, you brandished it beautifully. Where'd they teach you that, anyway? Hmm. Care more on the road. A little here, a little there. Not surprising, given you wander the world alone. Not alone no more. She's in the company now. That's right. You're a member of the company. We're drinking together, killed a wild boar as a pack, you might say. But we've no notion how you arrived here. A woman in a man's garb, razor on her back. Who exactly are you? You a mercenary? Hmm. Something is sort of more you're just a traveler. Traveler. I just travel a lot. And I don't always happen upon such good and civil company. Ah, gift of the gap she's got. Here's the good company. Where'd you get your drink, Siri? This I like. Drinks like a lad, knows her sword work, kills a boar as if it were a piglet. A she-wolf, if ever I've seen one. Uh -huh. All right, all right. A woman could swing a sword, I've knowed one, but never seen a lady mount anything but a cock proper. All tipsy on horseback, nothing strange on account they bloody mount them sideways. Perhaps you'd care to wager? Think you can outrun me on an horse? <laughs> Naturally. What's the stake? Black mare. 
The one in the stable. Oh, that won't do at all. Coward? What's the problem? Well, that's an awfully gloomy face. Too much of a coward to race a woman. Oh, damn. The horse is mine. To race the Baron himself. I'd consider it an honor. <laughs> oh, that'd be a sight to behold. Would it ever? Done. But if I win, I take your sword. Agreed. I'd not drink any more this night. You'll want your head about you. We start at daybreak. Holy shit, we get to race the Baron. That's gonna be cool. Hope it starts up immediately. If it goes back to Geralt, I don't know. It's gonna go back. It's a black screen, so probably back to Geralt. Hmm. It's gonna leave us a cliffhanger here. Damn loading screen. Sunrise. All right. Yep. We we'll get the race. Maybe. Hey, bunny rabbit. The day dawns. Ready? As ever. First one to the tower. Man chop. First one to the tower, huh? Come on, silly. Three, two, one. Go. Want that horse, don't ya? Had one just like it. Just keep a steady pace going. Show them how it's done. Show them how it's done. Everybody turned out. We're a little bit ahead, so we're gonna slow down, get some of our stamina back. Nope, nope, nope. Don't think so, bloody Baron. Oh shit! Did I make it? <laughs> it ended right there. Your wind, not woman. Worthy of the best horse. The mare is yours. Damn, Skippy. Thank you. What? <laughs> Holy shit. Wow. What do we get to fight? Oh, damn loading screen, mother. <laughs> Like a giant eagle or something. <sighs> Come on. I want my horse. It's funny. Probably going to save the Baron's life since he's talking to Geralt right now, but it wasn't a little bit more forthcoming about our story she here. She screamed like a mad woman. In an instant, all had forgotten the wager. Every man ran to save his skin, even worried to break his neck. And... They make it? Some, aye. Others were not so fortunate. But what happened then? I must say, Witcher. Seen a lot, but nothing like this. Never. Uh oh. I know that look. You're a fast learner. You'll know the rest once you find my wife. Damn it. Working on it. And making piss poor progress. They split up. Hadn't considered that possibility before. But don't worry, I'll find Anna too. Damn. Let's play Gwent. You're working with no card wine. How'd you wind up here? Anything about the witches in the area? I want to know all those. Heard anything about there being witches in Velen? I pay no heed to peasant babbling. Common folks say witches, wizardry, devils, and who knows what the fuck else. Every which way they turn. Hmm. How'd you wind up here? How'd you wind up here? Just curious. It's no secret. I was a Temerian soldier. The more units smashed at the war's start. Soon after, we'd lost hope of regrouping, driving the foe back. Those who remained wandered north. Others, deserters or merely broken men, joined us. We were a snowball rolling down a slope. By the time we reached Crow's Perch, I commanded a sizable force. Just march into the fortress, make yourselves at home? 
With Nilfgaard advancing, the local lord had fled and abandoned the perch. Once this war's over and Nilfgaard's victorious, the Black Ones will grant me a title. All talk of a self-proclaimed baron will cease. There you go. Nilfgaard. Can't help wondering why you made a deal with the Nilfgaardians. What could I do? Cast myself at them and die a hero? Fuck a hero's death. Fuck death. Rather live as a traitor. Ere long, none will remember it. Tamaria is no more. There's naught left to betray. Mm. The local Nilfgaardian garrison doesn't look that strong. What of it? Even were I to attack, cut them down to a man, others will come soon. Black ones will flood this land, take control before long. Sure as we've all got arseholes, they will. <laughs> I want to play Gwent. I don't want to play Gwent. We'll see you. So long. Alright, Baron. Thank you for the intel. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed part 20 with uh, the D and Mr. Day. <laughs> and the bloody Baron. A little bit of Siri. I can't wait until we fight that big bird or whatever the hell it was that Siri was after. We're going to go hunt down the family, the mom. We got to deal with some antler guy and then find out what happened with the mom's palms. They got burned. And then the uh, daughter's way up in the city, Ulfgaard or something. So we got a shit ton to do in part 21 coming up real soon. Hope you liked the video. You guys have a great week. We'll see ya.